Hi, it's John Cilio. I'm here. I just finished a speech at Eglin Air Force Base in Fort Walton, Florida. I'm standing here next to an SR-71 Blackhawk uh, airplane. And uh, at my speech today, I had several people ask the same question. So I wanted to address it. Uh, I wanted to address it on a video blog. And the question was this. Given my background of having chosen business partners who defrauded me of all kinds of money, how do you choose a, uh, a business partner? What process do you go through? And in my speeches, of course, I go through uh, a three-phase interrogation process, which is control, which is who is in control of the, uh, the information or the interaction, verify or justify, which is where you verify credentials for legitimacy, and then what are my options and what are the benefits of those options. Those same three principles work very well for choosing a business partner. First of all, you need to be the one, if you're choosing the partner, in control of the information. You need to know um, where they come from. You need to, to verify their credentials. A great example is when they give their educational or work credentials, you actually call those institutions, you call their previous employees, their managers and you interview them and find out if what you've learned from the person you're going into business with is the same as uh, as what they have told you if there's inconsistencies that should be your first red flag that lets you know something's wrong again the research here and being in control of that research and doing your due diligence that is the number one thing that you can do to check it out the other thing is communication if you communicate with this person that you're going into business with that you want to do a background check you want to check their credit file you want to see their driving history you want to verify educational and all of the credentials on their resume just like you would if you were hiring somebody if you tell them that the average a uh, fraudulent person, the average identity thief, the average corporate espionage uh, spy, they will not get into business with a person like that because you're already setting a precedent that, you're, that you shouldn't be messed with. So do your, your background check, do your due diligence, communicate with them, let them know what you're doing. None of this should be done behind the scenes and you should expect that they do the very same for you so that you start the relationship off in a good form. That's a quick couple of tips. I'll blog about it a little bit more. Uh, corporate, corporate espionage and inside spies is probably going to be the hot topic for 2009. I uh, appreciate your attention and uh, enjoy this beautiful uh, Florida weather. Thank you.